today we are going to deal with the poem the blind boy written by collie kibba so this is there for memorization and you have to memorize it so before we know the poem let us have a brief discussion about the poet poet collie kibba he was born on 6th of november 1671 in london and he passed away on 11th december 1757 in london itself he was an english actor manager that is he had his own drama company and he has written the 25 plays for his own company kibbas political work was derived in his time and has been remembered only for being poor it means that though he has made his name in his sector but he has always been known as a poor it's because most of his plays that is some of his plays were failed to gain popular among the people next his importance in british theater history on his being one of the first in a long line of actor manager on the interest of two of his comedies as a document of evolving early 18th century taste and ideology and on the value of his autobiography it it means that it says that his plays that is most of his plays were influenced uh, with the british literature okay and uh, one of his first kind that is as an actor as well as a manager and two of his uh, comedian have talked about the beginning of the 18th century and also about the tastes their ideas and values and all these things he has written in his autobiography so this is about the poet kali kibba okay and this poem the poem the blind boy written by kali kibba is a touching poem okay where it portrays the sufferings of the young boy that is who is blind from birth okay and this poem also depicts the blessing of the serv- uh, the blessing of the senses which we often take for granted okay so this uh, poor uh, blind boy is not aware of the loss of his sight as he was uh, never experienced it in his life so he has divided his uh, time that is he has divided his time of the day and the night according to his activities and uh, sleep so the boy is brave and so he is not disappointed his optimistic approach that is his confidence praiseworthy that is commandable due to which he enjoys his other senses so now let us know about the poem firstly i'll read the poem blind boy written by kali kibba oh say what is that thing called light which i must never enjoy what are the blessings of the sight o oh, tell your poor blind boy you talk of wondrous things you see you say the sun shines bright i feel him warm but how can he or make it day or night my day or night myself i make when i whenever i sleep or play and could i ever keep awake with me it were always day With a heavy sigh I often hear you moan my helpless o but sure with patience I can bear a loss I never can know then let not what I cannot have my cheer of mind destroys will thus I sing I am a king although a poor blind boy so before I explain I want you people to feel the poem because there are lot of images are here so i want you people to feel each word that is uh, in the poem because it will help you to analyze the poem and you have lot of images are put down here in order to bring the emotional attachment of the boy uh, in the poem okay and i also feel that you should attach yourself to think that you are a boy blind boy itself only then you feel that there you will uh, understand the poem very clearly so here the speaker is blind boy so we'll see the first two line 
ओ से वॉट इज दट थिंग कॉल्ड लाइट विच आई मस्ट नेवर एंजॉय एम द ब्लाइंड बॉय रिटर्न बाय कॉलिंग की बॉ डिस्क्राइब्स द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द ब्लाइंड बॉय हु कैन नॉट सी विथ हिज आईज एंड ही ट्राइज टू एक्सप्रेस वॉट अ ब्लाइंड बॉय फील्स एंड वॉट द वर्ल्ड एंड द वर्ल्ड थिंग्स और फॉर हिम and this poem has been divided into five stanza having four lines each so we we'll see the first uh, two lines it says like this oh what is that thing called light which i never which i must never enjoy so here the blind boy is asking us that is is asking uh, what is that thing called light tell me what is that thing called light which i can never enjoy so he's asking the people around uh, him that is i cannot see i cannot feel about uh, and tell me what is that thing called uh, light okay and he says he cannot see and he cannot enjoy and he cannot and he also he cannot see uh, experience the presence of the light so he ask people around him to tell him and make him to understand what is light because he has often heard other saying that it is uh, uh, something which he can never enjoy and nor all things blessings which light has so now we'll see the third line what are the blessings of the sight o oh, tell your blind boy so what is the meaning of blessings of the sight it means that the things that you can see so here the blind boy is telling us tell me what are the blessings that you have that means the things that you see the things that you feel and also tell me those uh, things that you are grateful for and the things that you are appreciating so now he says the people who are around him that you are understanding the things that means you are seeing the things and you are understanding and you are enjoying through your eyes so he is asking them tell me what are those blessings so what are those things that you are seeing because uh, he says that i cannot enjoy that so he is asking them tell me those things that the things that you are satisfied when you look at them because he says he is a poor blind boy so tell me your poor blind boy so he is asking the people around him tell me those wonderful things those pleasant things the things which they are appreciating enjoying to him so that he can also enjoy and he cannot enjoy it right now because he is a poor blind boy next so uh, he is telling to the people who are around him that he is a blind boy he cannot see and he cannot know what is light he can never enjoy that light and uh, these people that means the people with him are able to uh, enjoy that that means they have the blessings of the eyesight so he is requesting them tell him what it is what is that blessings that he, they are enjoying and he says i cannot i am a poor boy i am a, i am a blind boy and uh, uh, tells them what are the blessings and he is asking them what are the blessings of the sight so this is the first stanza the second stanza is like this you talk of wondrous things you see you say the sun shines bright i feel him warm but how can he or make it day or night so here the blind boy he is telling that that is he sees the people around him and says that you are telling a lot of for uh, things about wonderful things pleasant things and that is uh, happening in and around you and uh, he sees them and said you say the sun shines bright but i am an unfortunate poor boy i cannot see how the sun is shining brighter okay so you can see it you can see what is the light and you can see how the sun is shining so that is the meaning so he says you talk of wondrous things you see that means is telling the people that you talk about pleasant things that means about uh, how the sun shines 
and uh, how the sun shines brighter, all these things. And he is asking them to tell the things about wonderful things that they see and which he cannot enjoy. Okay. And third line, I feel him warmth, but how can he or make it day or night? So here the boy again questions the people that I am only able to feel the warmth. That means he can feel only the heat, but I cannot see. I cannot see the rays of the sun. I cannot see the sun. So I cannot see how bright it is, but I can feel only the warmth. So here in this paragraph, the poet, that means the blind boy says that people often talk about wondrous things and they see with their eyes and the people often say that the sun shines bright. However, this blind boy cannot see anything but he can only feel the warmth. Okay.